video we will try to understand the Cisco X, iOS XR architecture. Now the Cisco iOS XR runs based on the operating system uh, from QNX Neutrino which is a typical operating system used in very powerful and high end reliable systems. So it's a it's kind of variation in the Linux instead of using Unix Linux it uses this operating system. Now the main feature of the XR is it runs multiple processes and each feature or the function is in a separate process or the memory space. Now what exactly it means is let's say you are running some kind of protocols like BGP, OSPF or, or OSPF v3 or ISS different protocols they all run in their own memory spaces so which means the processing used for this protocol is different from this protocol so if if there is any failure occurs because of some some kind of uh, bugs or maybe some kind of overhead if, if this protocol fails it's not going to impact the OSPF behavior still your OSPF neighbors will be up still they will be uh, forwarding the packet so every feature or the every uh, protocol run it's in its own memory space generally which is unlike in IWAS so if you if you compare the IWAS they all run in the same memory space if there is any failure in any one of this protocol let's say if there is some kind of uh, attack on this protocol or uh, increasing some kind of overhead because of this protocol it will impact the entire router and maybe it allows it, it makes the router to reboot uh, immediately but whereas here it's not like that so that is one of the one of the main feature of the ios xr and this feature is very important inside the service for networks because if any fault with the specific customer it should not impact the other customers so because typically these routers connect to multiple customers so if there is any kind of uh, issue with one of the customer that should not impact the other other instances so the next thing is like uh, this micro kernel architecture enables you to restart the most processes like you can selectively uh, restart specific uh, processes uh, whichever the process you want so you don't really need to restart the complete router or the complete uh, device it also allows you to logically separate the management control plane and the data planes because in most of the IBS routers uh, generally you have some kind of attacks let's say there are some kind of network security attacks on the control plane which is responsible for building your database like routing tables so if there is any attack in this plane it will also impact the data plane because the data plane is actually doing the forwarding and if the routing table is not built or if there is an issue with the routing table it will also impact this forwarding of your packets but whereas in the ios xr these planes are totally separated so any issues with one of the plane it's not going to impact the other planes so logically inside the architecture it's it's completely separated unlike the ios versions apart from that it supports some kind of high availability features like i said uh, in the previous video state full switch over allows you to switch over the redundant processes where the IBS XR supports some kind of uh, some kind of dual processes we can say processor one and processor two. Let's say the processor one is forwarding the traffic which is an active. If that processor fails due to some kind of overheating or some some issue with the processor or maybe some hardware failure, it will automatically switch back to the redundant processes. So we call this as a stateful switchover uh, with the help of non-stop forwarding. It allows you to forward the packet without. Uh, it's something like reducing the downtime in general. So additionally, they do support something called uh, IESSU, that is in-service software upgrade. Now this allows the Cisco IBS software, like the software can be updated while the router is running and forwarding the packets. Like let's say you want to add some patches or some kind of updations, you can still do that at the same time when the router is actually forwarding so you don't need to reboot the device in general so this will increase the network availability inside the service for networks and also it reduces the downtime which is caused generally generally which is caused because of the software upgrades